Let me guess, you have no extra time in your day for learning or implementing new ideas. Yet, at the same time, you're struggling with recruitment and you need to retain the best team members that you have. You can't afford to lose them. Well, give me a few moments of your busy day right now because I want to share with you something that can help. Hi, I'm Denise Boudreau and I'm founder of Fully Staffed. And I wanna outline how you can significantly improve the quality and the quantity of staff that you have in your organization. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to get there with a lot more ease. And yes, I did say ease. And it's all because of the proven strategies for improving recruitment and retention that I've developed behind Fully Staffed. And before we get into the details, let's step back just a moment. In order to find and keep the best staff, we've gotta understand where you're working from. I know that you're working so very, very hard Yet you probably feel like you haven't made the progress that you know you're capable of. And even worse are those negative thoughts and doubts that start creeping into your head. If you've ever asked yourself, am I doing enough? Will the staffing crisis ever get better? It's okay. It's totally normal. And to be honest, a lot of successful healthcare leaders and senior living leaders have had doubts about their abilities. In fact, so did I. And I can remember lying awake at night, wondering if I was even cut out to be an administrator. And then I realized something. I could let that doubt become my truth and have it stop me from getting what I want. Or I could tap into all that energy and time I spent on worrying and channel it so it gets me closer to my goals because worrying takes a lot of energy, doesn't it? You know, it makes you feel worn out. It makes you feel tired. You can't sleep at night. So the great news is if you feel this way, it's actually a good thing because it means you've got all the strength you need. You just need to harness it and use it in a better way. And nothing will make you feel better than taking action towards making your goal of being fully staffed a reality. But what actions should you take? I'm going to share that in just a moment. But before I get into that, let's look at the facts. There are more people right now focused on recruitment and retention than ever before. With all the information and the tools and resources at our fingertips today, it's also never been easier to access lots of solutions and, and different ways to solve these problems. I didn't say it was easy, but with what's available to us, right now really is the absolute best time to start approaching your recruitment and retention in a very different way. Especially if you're committed to knowing how to find and keep only the best people. And more importantly, being fully staffed will let you have more time to focus on the important parts of your work, your quote unquote real job, the things you should be doing, but you haven't had time for that you've been putting on the back burner. And what about your family and friends? If they've been on the back burner too, you want to spend time with them as well. How will that feel? And think about a community of other healthcare leaders, of senior living leaders who are on the same journey. They're doing what you're doing right now. They're positive and they're committed to creating the best team of staff possible. That's the opportunity that we have today. And it's why I'm so passionate about using organizational culture to drive both recruitment and retention. It's the reason why I created Fully Staffed. So if you're an experienced leader in healthcare or senior living, or maybe you're just new to one of these fields and you wanna make sure that you're starting off on the right foot, Fully Staffed can help. 